All right, so in this super quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can go from a complete beginner to starting to build your first app using GPT-5 Codex. Uh, I'm gonna give you the most simple way to do this. You're not gonna have to open any IDEs. You're not gonna have to do anything locally. It's all gonna happen in the cloud and it's gonna be really fast and really simple. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a GitHub account. I just created a fresh GitHub account. Um, just takes a few minutes, create a GitHub account. Uh, I created a repository here. So I just created a new repository, my GPT app. Uh, and in this repository, I added one readme file that just says my new app. So we have a repository, um, that simple. And um, by the way, you're gonna need a GPT plus account for this. So it's 20 bucks a month. Um, so go ahead and get that. And then you're ready to get started. So just go to chatgpt.com forward slash codex. Once you have a plus account, uh, you're gonna see a big connect to GitHub button, connect that, um, connect your account, connect the repo that you want to work with. Here's the one I just created. Uh, select the branch, we're gonna stay in the main branch. Uh, and that's it, you're good to go. So uh, I'm gonna just build a super simple web app here. Uh, I wanna build a simple web app that will record my voice notes and give me a to-do list to accomplish my daily tasks, right? Um, nothing out of this world, nothing too crazy. Um, and we should be able to code this uh, right away. So let's go ahead and just hit the code button. All right, so you can see here that it's already working on my task. So you see it has a task here, build voice notes and to-do list app. Uh, and if I click that, you can actually see that it has a log that it's already working on here. So essentially what GPT Codex is, is it's an AI agent that will um, go ahead and build uh, an app for you um, using Terminal, right? So it's gonna actually start to create this right now. Uh, and you can actually see that it's gonna give me a full log here of what it's doing. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing and um, wait a few minutes and see what it comes back and does. All right, so it only took about five minutes, and if I click on our task list here, we're gonna see what it did. So if I go to the logs, you're gonna see that uh, it basically, as an AI agent, which is what it is, a coding agent, uh, it came in and took this task and sort of broke it out into parts. Uh, it created a basic game plan, uh, planned out a basic app using vanilla JS, uh, and it just started building it, right? Just started building every piece of this app. I'm not gonna go through every little detail here, um, but you could if you wanted to, and you could see that everything, it's done here. So uh, it built an app.js, an index.html, it updated the readme file, and it created a styles.css. Now, what I'm gonna do here is come up here and hit create PR, and this is gonna push it to GitHub directly. So it's now been pushed to GitHub, and if I come back here in GitHub, you can see that there's a pull request. Now, uh, I'm not going to get too into the GitHub world, but essentially a pull request is like if I had a real developer working on this, um, I would come and check their pull requests and I could then approve it. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to read the summary, uh, add a single page experience for voice recording, voice memos, manage prioritized tasks, persist voice notes to do's locally. Um, and it basically broke down everything that it did here for us, right? So if I want to approve this, I'll go ahead and merge the pull request, right? And I'll confirm the merge. Uh, now, if I come back to our code, you can see that the code is now updated. We have an updated readme file here, daily voice, voice notes and task planner, right? And it breaks down uh, the entire application, right? Um, so our app is pretty much built. So now there's a few ways to deploy this. I'm gonna go the super simple route. I'm just gonna download this code and I'm gonna run it locally. Um, so let's just do that right now, just to show you what this looks like. And here is our uh, voice app. So uh, let's test this out real quick. So right now it's not working. If I hit start recording, it's not actually doing anything. It should load up like a recording uh, thing asking me to record. So I'm just gonna come back and I'm gonna say, when I hit start recording, nothing is happening. It should request to use my microphone in the browser. Okay, so found our first issue here. Let's ask it to fix that. So we're gonna hit code and it should start working on that problem. You see work on this task. So let's let it go ahead and fix this and um, let's come back and see if it works. So if I hit start recording, here we go. It's picking up my microphone. I will allow this time. Today, I would like to work on refactoring my code base. I also want to write two blog posts on GPT-5 Codex and create one post on X. 
So we're going to title this morning work. My work for today, 922. Let's save the voice note. And let's create a task based on this voice note. Let's go ahead and add the task. And boom, it's done. So this isn't exactly what I want. And I could obviously work on this more, but you understand the process now, right? It's really, really that simple. Um, you basically just spin up Codex, ask it to run this agent, do whatever you want it to do, connect it to GitHub. If you wanted to take this to the next level, you could use Versal. Uh, you could you create a Next.js project, run it on Versal, create a database. I mean, you could take this to an entirely next level, whatever you want to do. In fact, if you want to see me do something just like that, drop a comment. Let me know you want to see me build a full app using GPT-5 Codex, and I will definitely do that for you. If you like this video, give it a like. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel.